if we have, say, dumbbells or some sort of hard object, and we have two of them that are around the same size, we can do deficit push-ups. So we're going to increase the range of motion a little bit. Dumbbells are great because we can orient them in a way that is comfortable for your hands. Right? We're going to keep them directly under our chest or a little bit wider than the shoulders, all the way down. Nice big stretch and press. We can also make them more challenging. Children's children's equipment. by elevating our heels and doing decline push-ups. Oh, as long as we don't fall. Again, just increasing the range of motion at the chest. Right, so by increasing our heels or our feet, we're putting ourselves into a more of an incline pressing position because of the angle that our body ends up in. So that's slightly more challenging at the chest. We can do banded push-ups. We can put the band around our shoulders, like so, and under our hands. This will make it more challenging as we get to the lockout of the press. Right? So again, up on our toes if you can, all the way down. And then we want to press and lock it out and squeeze. So key consideration here is again, thickness of the band. Uh, if it's too thick, it might be too challenging to lock out. We might not have enough give to get around your shoulders and your arms. So, so just make sure you're choosing a band appropriately. Another great way that we can use a band to train the chest is if we lie on our back, band underneath the shoulders, we can just lie back and then just similarly to a dumbbell press, push up and squeeze your chest. All right, pull that back down and again. So these are a great exercise, especially if you have a thicker band because they can be quite challenging. Again, just nice control all the way down. Uh, if you have a like a bench or something that you can lie on, we can increase the range of motion so you're getting all the way down at the bottom and a nice big stretch through your chest. We can do a standing chest press as well. We have a band again with band handles, all right? So you set it up around something sturdy like a pole. If you have one, you could probably use a clothesline. We're going to come forward, just be careful that you're not going to get pulled back too far. Um, and then from here, hands around chest height, elbows slightly tucked, we're going to press all the way out, punching forwards, squeezing your chest, take a nice and wide, big stretch, and again, squeeze. If you have something wide enough, you can even do flies. Right, so again, here we're just focusing on um, nice and straight out by our side and then we want to think about pulling our bicep into the side of our chest and squeezing okay the cables or the bands can be quite good for this especially to mix it up now our last chest, chest exercise is going to be a tricep dip again this is one that most people will be quite familiar with so we're going to just need like a bench or something around hip height that we can hold on to, it's going to support our weight. We're going to bring our feet out, hips off the bench, right? Elbows and hands directly underneath your shoulders, driving the elbows back, lowering our body down all the way, nice big stretch. And then from here, we're going to think about pushing our hands down and straightening our arms, elbows coming back in line with our shoulders. All right, we're going to repeat these, just like so. We can make these more challenging by putting a weight or something on our hips to increase the loading uh, through the chest and triceps um, and we can vary our foot position to make it more challenging as well so if we keep them nice and close uh, our feet are going to be taking a little bit more of the load as we come down or we can go really far out keeping most of the load through our triceps making it a lot more challenging uh, one thing just to be aware of is when we are pressing we want to make sure that we're not utilizing our legs and we are focusing all of that weight through our triceps.